Threads, everything to know about Instagram's app to rival Twitter. What is Instagram's new Threads app? Wait a second. What is Threads? Everything you need to know about Meta's new app, a text-based conversation app that according to Meta, is designed to be a space for community. Threads is already popular. 5 million signups in the first four hours, 30 million users. I heard there was a new app called Threads associated with Instagram. I thought I was crazy. Wasn't there an app called Threads that came out four years ago? And wasn't I the only one of my friends who used it? The answer to that is yes and yes. I did introduce it to my friends. No one else knew even what it was, and then it got shut down. And now they're rebranding with the same name, but a different app. Interesting. Which probably explains why no one else that I've heard of is talking about how Instagram is reusing this name for an entirely different concept of their new app. So what was this ancient app called Threads? This was an app that came out in late 2019 as a companion app for Instagram designed to create a space for you to connect with your close friends. Essentially, it was very similar to Snapchat and Messenger combined. It was sort of like as Facebook is to Messenger, Instagram was to Threads. You could post little statuses like little emoji, or maybe sometimes it even track your location. If you're at a movie theater, it might put a little popcorn or film emoji, which is a feature they've kind of recently brought back to Instagram. When you open the app, it would go right to a camera, kind of like Snapchat, where you could then post a story with all the normal features. Usually this would be to share with your close friends, but you could also post it to all of your followers. Does anybody else remember this? Is this ringing a bell for anybody else? In 2020, a revamp allowed this app not just to be for messaging close friends, but messaging any of your followers or anyone on Instagram. However, this app began to face its downfall when Instagram and Facebook were connected, and then you could message your Facebook friends through Instagram or your Instagram followers through Facebook Messenger. They also started to switch over several Threads features to Instagram, which essentially rendered the companion app useless. So Threads ceased to exist and was removed from the App Store in December 2021. The original Threads just never made it mainstream. I also believe it wasn't monetized, there were no ads in the app as it was a messaging app. I know for me personally, that's where I checked my Instagram messages. I also posted my stories from there. It was honestly really useful to not have to open Instagram and get sucked into the feed and scrolling before I realized, oops, I got distracted from trying to respond to a simple message. So I did appreciate it for that reason. It was nice to just have a separate place to message my friends, especially in a time when I was so far from them. I had just moved to Honduras that year in 2019, and I talked to a lot of my friends through Instagram, whether it was sharing funny memes or just catching up. So when they did take it down, I was disappointed and I was a faithful user of this app, but apparently there was only a small few of us who actually were. So recently when I started hearing about this Threads app, it caught me off guard. I was thinking, wait, this got shut down two years ago, but now they're bringing it back under the same name with an entirely different concept and people are actually using it this time. Now instead of trying to rip off Snapchat, they're copying Twitter. And honestly, I've had enough. I'm not downloading it. I know Twitter's in a dumpster fire right now, so I can definitely see this app gaining traction and I understand why it is gaining popularity so quickly. But I've never actually had a Twitter. Actually, that's a lie. I had a Twitter twice, I realized. Once when I was writing for an online magazine and I had to use it to promote my articles. I deleted it after that, I think, unless I still have that account floating around somewhere, but I'm pretty sure I deleted it. And then recently I created an account to reach out to my bank because I saw that they actually gave helpful answers on their customer service Twitter account. So I tried tweeting them about a problem and they ended up just telling me to call anyways. So I called them and deleted my account. Anyways, personally, I just do not want any more social media. They're all just sort of blending together in my mind. I have the basic ones and that's all I really want to keep up with. I haven't even jumped on the TikTok train, so you know I'm a little bit behind the times now. <laughs> I know that's like four years too late at this point, so I do not foresee myself downloading this Threads app, especially since it's just to replace Twitter, which I don't even have a Twitter. One thing I do not understand is why they chose to keep the same name for an app that is entirely conceptually different. I guess if you think about it a little bit, Threads, it makes more sense as like a text-based app if you're having conversations or connecting or following the same thread, as opposed to the old idea, which was just sort of with close friends, like keeping your community, your close-knit community. I don't know, from a creative standpoint, I guess this new idea makes more sense with the name, but why do they keep the same name if it's an entirely different thing? I do not understand that. Anyone has any insight, I would love to hear. Let me know in the comment section if you're downloading it, if you think it's worth your time, and have fun, enjoy the app. But just know, some of us had this app four years ago when nobody else used it, and we are a little bit ahead of the times. <laughs> All jokes aside, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.